just a super quick outcrop of the day video today because I'm on holiday and as you can see I'm in a slightly cooler environment than I'm usually used to working in but I couldn't resist this place because there's a really interesting story here. I'm at the Coralville Dam in Iowa and this place is famous for having lots of Devonian fossils. This is Fossil Gorge here. And most of those fossils are things from a very shallow, warm, tropical sea, something like the modern day Caribbean. We've got some beautifully preserved coral fossils here. Here's a nice piece here where we've got some end sections of the coral here and a very similar piece here, but in cross section. So you can see the structures of the coral parallel to the growth and here end on to the growth. And here's a face here with some beautifully preserved bryzoan stems. And this area here is just littered with crinoid stems. There's some stems lying sideways there, and there's an end section there, and lots of more of them around here. And most of these plates here with all the dimpled surface on them are, look like fragments of bryzoans. All of those things are typical of things that grow in shallow, warm seas. So this definitely wasn't a subarctic environment like we're in now. And the limestone slabs, which have been used for signage at the park here, which are also quarried locally, have beautiful algal mat textures, which again indicate a warm, tropical, shallow sea environment. And that explains why geologists often see climate change quite differently to the average person in the street because we tend to see the world on a much longer time frame. And this case is a perfect example. Where I'm standing now was a warm, shallow sea somewhere south of the equator back in the Devonian some 380 million years ago. But ever since then, the continents have been moving, the seas have been changing shape, and the climate's been changing as a result. So. The current arguments about climate change are really just a thin layer on top of what's been going on in the Earth for a very long time.